welcome back to my channel and this is Rowena and for those who are new thank you so much and today's video I will talk to uh, you about building confidence okay this um I've, I've been receiving some some chat messages that um they want me to to show you or or have a video of how to build confidence okay so with that being said let's uh, get started okay so i have here my board all right so building confidence so first off it's good that you wanted to really build your confidence because um that will really help you and grow and you know talking to people without you know feeling perspiration all over your body like feeling so nervous okay so here's the abc rule on building confidence okay this is my opinion and this is what um what happened to me before and um it's not that i don't i don't have confidence but i started really building my confidence when i was in grade school because when actually it started on um second grade when my i was like kicked out from section a then b and b and a something like that happened and i was like gosh this is so painful on my end like am i a ball like uh, you're being transferred me back and forth to sections just because somebody else will be joining and she, i was told she was so great from other school so that's why i i hate not hate is a strong word but i don't really like um you know sections because i believe that all individuals or all students they they have their own intelligence okay some some students are not good in class but they're good in, on something else so you know anyway back to confidence this is d a b c rule okay it's, it's simple you should not forget it so what's an a you should acknowledge acknowledge that you are not confident or you know your confident level is not that high or not enough like you know like for example you you, you need to do um defense let's say and you're so nervous and you started to you know to like forget your words and you can't really you're having hard time on reorganization of your organizing your thoughts and all that then you have a confidence problem because you're afraid of you know it's kind of like a stage fright as well and um that that all intertwined okay so when you when you acknowledge it's good that you acknowledge it okay and you want to do something about it okay so the b is you have to be ready okay so once you decided okay you acknowledge that you need to increase your confidence level you have to be ready and you have to really embrace it because there will be changes okay there will be changes you should be ready for the changes okay so what are the change that you need to to do in order to build that confidence level all right first off is you should stop thinking what your neighbor or other people think about you okay it's like loving yourself loving of who you are and what you can do you know god created us with the, all the gifts that he provided you know you may not be good in class again like i said but you're good on something else all right so every time you go out, you like, oh, um, maybe people will think that I'm this, this, this. Then it's a problem. Okay? You should stop caring what other people think. 
okay that's number one then number two you have to go out there and talk to people you have to start talking like have a conversation like an elevate elevator pitch like they said so don't be afraid of saying hi or how are you how are you doing right and don't be shy if you're a student you have to start like talking and asking your teacher it's not being sip sip like you know in the philippines like you're talking to your teacher and you know you want to ask something and your others uh, other you know classmates will say oh she's sip sip you know i w- i was always um they said teacher's pet <laughs> so I don't know. Well, I'm not the one approaching them. I mean, they 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 know that you know I'm responsible, I'm reliable, so they they have trust on me. And um, even if other, you know, other classmates of mine way back were like labeling me as sip sip, so I mean I don't care because <laughs> I'm not, you know. So I was not the top student in the class, but I, neither that I'm the the least or the lowest student. Anyway, so it's really important that you go out there and start talking. Like, well, you have to talk with sense, okay? <laughs> you can't just talk whatever, like random things, but you don't afraid. Like, for example, you're in a conversation and the, the, you're not familiar with the topic, you you don't have to answer the question you can just say i'm not familiar with this but here's what my here's what my what are my thoughts are so this is what i can tell you you know you, you it's it's just a matter of how you respond to the conversation okay don't be afraid that oh i don't want to talk to this person cuz he might ask me something that i don't know well just tell them you don't know and you know chances are they will tell you what they're talking about or explain further what they're talking about so now you know right so it's really good to talk to people because you will learn from them you know when you start talking to them you will always learn something of course you can't just make sure you talk to people with sense also so that's that's also a main thing you that's important thing when you're building your confidence you have to surround yourself with people that make who make sense with a great attitude and people who won't judge you okay now if you're still surrounded with negative people it's time i'm telling you it's time it's not worth it just flush them out so that's what i'm doing okay they're toxic people negative people they're like sponge they'll absorb fast like they'll influence you fast okay you have to surround yourself with positive people talk to talk to people who are positive not negative if you're thinking of something like for example you're dreaming of you know becoming this kind of person right if you're surrounded with negative people they say oh come on really that's your dream there's no way you can you know you can be like that you know well positive people was like wow that's great um let let's see you know we can maybe we can search how can you be like that maybe you need to take some course like this this and this they'll help you and cheer you right they won't mock you and demotivate you so make sure you surround yourself with positive people okay i remember last time um i don't if if you're hearing negative things against you right just take it as a normal stage or part of growing up okay people will always try to pull you down like what happened to me i was told by one of our you know within the family i'm going to mention who that i will never go somewhere like uh, like in like what do you call it in english but in tagalog it's like wala kang mararating right 
well yeah I, I am here in you <laughs> so I didn't go back to him and say oh yeah remember you told my mother that you know your daughter will never go any further you know so well news news flash kung sino yung inaape yun ang inaangat okay if you're being down dead don't let other people step on you you have to get up and fight and pray okay don't rely to others just just pray whoever whatever your religion is just pray to him for your for guidance and really help you to achieve your goal and he will give it this you know i'm a living proof that he will okay so these are the abc rule if you want to be confident you really have and it takes practice okay so you can't just uh, you know stay at well i know you're not allowed to go out but at least have conversation this is actually the great time to to do it like over the phone like you know call somebody um whenever you have question do a like a facetime or video call so you can talk to people or practice at the mirror you know and if you're a student you can also join those contests like speech contests I was always in a speech contest. If you're graduated in Batangas West between 1990, oh gosh, it's 97 to 2000, to year 2000 or 2001, I even forgot what the year I was. But in Lemmy High, I was graduated in Lemmy High. For sure, you've heard my name, Rowena Amen. I'm always the contestant in poem contest, declamation, oration, you name it. I love stage. Okay, I love stage. I don't have stage fright. So I can face anybody. I think it's more of um, my the influence of my father when he was living. Um, I remember growing up, he's always telling me, you know, you can face anybody. It just happened that, you know, with respect, of course. But um, always remember the people who are in position now, they're there because they work hard for it. They, they're born before you do or they they they're born with you know rich family and all that but bottom line is you're all human you're all, you're all equal I mean you're all um, human beings so you should not treat others different so as long as you respect somebody you you should not be shy approaching someone just asking question or building a rapport or try to get um learn something from that person especially in a gathering like if there's occasion you want to practice your confidence and your um speaking you know a ability to 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 do conversation with other people that's the time you know in a party you know you you talk to them at school you always you should always be the first person to say hi don't wait other people to say hi how are you you can, if you're new in the class say hi how are you be friendly i mean it's easy i mean i i know for others it's hard but that's why it's important that you're ready to take the change okay it's not enough that you acknowledge oh i'm shy and that's it okay it's important that you want to do something about it that you want to build your confidence because it will affect you if you're not gonna make change now later on it will affect you like on college you will do defense how are you gonna say something in front of your teacher like you're all scared and you're not confident and you know your body is like perspiring and then you forget your script and the, you know your thought organization is gone so you know you're gonna you're gonna fail and on job interview so how are you gonna answer the question um and how you how are you gonna uh, sell yourself confidently so confidence is if it, it, it comes with trust you know that's the that's the quickest way to see to prove that you're trustworthy i mean when on the job of course you're, you're not doing the job yet so you're doing a job interview and you know they'll just base the the you know the trust on how confident you are right so it's really important that change 
if you want to be better and grow, you have to start now. Okay? So that's it for today. And watch out for other videos related to, you know, growing yourself and have some opportunity. And also, I will have an upcoming video about saving money and how I'm able or my family is able to um, do some charity or outreach program to our kababayans in the philippines especially in batangas all right guys thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for further um so you'll be notified for the next video thank you bye